Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about running Origin through Crossover. So Origin is a game launcher which is primarily used by EA and it's also used by EA games that run on Steam which use the Origin Thin Client. So this is going to be required for all of those games. We can actually run Origin through Parallels, however if we run it through Crossover then theoretically we're going to have much better speed. And that's because Crossover is able to make use of much more of the M1 Max resources than Parallels can. So previously I've recorded Mass Effect Legendary Edition gameplay through Parallels and you'll see that the gameplay here through Crossover is going to be much much better. We can run it through 1080p and it's getting a respectable frame rate. Similarly I can run Titanfall 2 the single player game at 1080p and it's also getting a very good frame rate. And if I turn down the settings quite a lot I can actually get a very respectable multiplayer game out of it. It would actually be much more enjoyable than the Parallels version of this game and I would say virtually competitive not quite but nearly there and much much better than its Parallels counterpart. The issue with Origin on Crossover is that we can't run it straight off the bat, we have to apply this fix which is what this video is all about. So all of the instructions I'm going to list here are going to be listed on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. So I've got these steps here. If any of these steps change in the future, if something changes with the operating system or the latest version of Crossover, then you can follow the instructions here. They'll be updated in the future as well. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a new bottle. So I've got Crossover installed here. If you haven't installed Crossover already, you can follow a link in the description or on the top right hand corner of the screen here and that's going to give you the instructions on how to install crossover and all of the tricks and tips for that so i'll assume that you've already installed crossover so in order to do the next step we're going to create a bottle so on the bottom left here we're going to click here and then click new bottle so this bottle I'm going to call origin so it's quite important we call it origin and that we change this to windows 7 64 bit so i'm going to create the bottle now so the next stage is to download a script. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. It's also going to be part of the crossover article. So if I tap this link, we'll be taken to the PC Gaming Wiki files section. And I've uploaded a script here. So all you have to do is click download this file, agree and download. And then we'll have a script ready. So this is the downloaded script. I'm just going to double click on it to extract it. And then the password for this is PCGW, all lowercase, and press enter there. So we have our script here. So what we're going to do is to put this script into our bottle. So I'm going to control click on the file and click copy. And then we're going to navigate to the root of this bottle. So I'm going to control click here. I'm going to make sure that I can see the path bar. So when you're in Finder, click view and show path bar. So we're going to navigate to the crossover folder here. So we're going to double click on that. Then we're going to place the script that we copied earlier and then paste it here. So I'm going to open terminal by clicking on spotlight and typing the word terminal and opening there. Then we're going to change directories. So we're going to press CD and then space. Then we're going to drag this over and then press return. So now I'm in the crossover directory. So now I'm going to launch the script. So I'm going to press dot forward slash cross over underscore origin dot sh. So if we get this permission denied error, then we need to give ourselves permission to execute this script. So we need to type in chmod plus x dot forward slash cross over origin dot sh. And then I'm going to use my command earlier dot forward slash crossover underscore origin dot sh. And that's launched this script. So we're just going to let that work in the background while we continue our installation process. So now we can move on to the next stage. I'm going to click on crossover and then click install a Windows application and we're going to type in the word origin and we're going to select the origin launcher. So this is going to allow us to install Windows origin games through crossover. So I'm going to press continue here and then I don't want to let the origin install into the a new bottle. We want to select the bottle that we've already created. So this is the origin bottle there and then press continue and then press continue. So this installer has come up now. I'm gonna click the install origin button here. And basically what we wanna do is change the origin folder. So we wanna move it to the My Computer C drive. And the script here created this origin folder with some special writable properties. And that's gonna allow us to complete the installation. Without this script running, it's gonna give us a load of errors. So I'm gonna press open here. I'm just gonna deselect some of these options. And then agree to the EULA. Press continue. And that's going to allow us to install. So now we have the origin login screen here. I'm just going to type in my details. 
So now the Origin installer has completed its installation process and now we can actually download all the Windows versions of this game and run it through Crossover, through Wine. So it's possible to run Origin of course through the Mac operating system, that's going to give you access to the Mac operating system games. If you want to play the Windows versions of games on your Mac then Crossover is going to be one option and this is going to give you access to all the Origin games too. It is of course also possible to run Origin games through Parallels. Because Crossover uses the Wine compatibility layer then in theory this should have much better performance but this really depends on the particular game and the compatibility as well. If you'd like to know more about the compatibility of specific games you can check out this M1 crossover Windows compatible games list on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. I'll leave a link to this in the description and this is basically going to list all the games that are compatible with crossover. If you have any additional information about games that you've tested then please add it to the wiki. No account is required. So now that this is successfully installed we can just go ahead and close this script. So just be aware that this script is going to be required whenever Origin updates so just have that handy as well to memorize how to actually run the script but I can go ahead and close this now and despite the fact that Origin has already installed I can actually cancel this because it's not detected that the Origin installer has completed so just cancel that and uh, we can actually add Origin as a shortcut all we need to do is to double click on run command here and then we navigate to the origin exe file. So I can select origin.exe here. I already have it open at the moment, but I can click save command as a launcher and it's gonna appear in our little section here under origin. So now that we have origin installed through crossover, that means that if I open the origin launcher now, and then install a new game, then it means that I'll be running that game through Crossover, which wasn't previously possible because the Origin client just wouldn't run. And this will also apply to Steam games that use the Origin Thin client as well. So if you have a game like Titanfall 2 and you have it on Steam, you still need Origin installed, otherwise it won't launch correctly. So this fix will hopefully fix that issue for everyone else. So there's still plenty of testing to do here. So some of the games that previously wouldn't launch because Origin wasn't launching through Crossover now may launch. So I'll be doing some more extensive testing testing and any kind of uh, new games that get added that I'll either do a video about or I will add it onto the crossover compatibility list which is on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. So anyway it's still exciting that we're still finding new ways to get games to run better on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac especially through crossover. It's really great to see games like Titanfall 2 which is a competitive shooter run on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac because to be honest there aren't that many competitive games that you can play online and it's good that we can add this to our repertoire and the fact is that this runs much better than on Parallels. However, Parallels does seem to have a better list of compatibility for Windows games. So if you're interested, please follow the link in the description for a tutorial on how to get that to run. So Mass Effect Legendary Edition as well requires some tweaks and fixes in order to get it up and running. If you'd like to see a video on this, please leave a comment. I'll be adding information about this to the relevant Apple Gaming Wiki articles for Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. And as you can see, it's working pretty well compared to how the non-Legendary Edition used to work. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.